Hydrazine is an inorganic compound with the chemical formula N2H4, also written H2NNH2, called diamidogen, archaically. A simple nictogen hydride, it is a colorless flammable liquid with an ammonia-like odor. Hydrazine is highly toxic and dangerously unstable unless handled in solution. As of 2015, the world hydrazine hydrate market amounted to $350 million. Hydrazine is mainly used as a foaming agent in preparing polymer foams, but significant applications also include its uses as a precursor to polymerization catalysts, pharmaceuticals, and agrochemicals. About 2 million tons of hydrazine hydrate were used in foam blowing agents in 2015. Additionally, hydrazine is used in various rocket fuels and to prepare the gas precursors used in airbags. Hydrazine is used within both nuclear and conventional electrical power plant steam cycles as an oxygen scavenger to control concentrations of dissolved oxygen in an effort to reduce corrosion. Hydrazines refer to a class of organic substances derived by replacing one or more hydrogen atoms in hydrazine by an organic group. Molecular structure Each H2N-N subunit is pyramidal. The N-N single bond distance is 1.45 a, 145 pm, and the molecule adopts a gauche conformation. The rotational barrier is twice that of ethane. These structural properties resemble those of gaseous hydrogen peroxide, which adopts a skewed anticlinal conformation, and also experiences a strong rotational barrier. Synthesis and production Diverse routes have been developed. The key step is the creation of the nitrogen-nitrogen single bond. The many routes can be divided into those that use chlorine oxidants and generate salt, and those that do not. Oxidation of ammonia via oxyziridines from peroxide Hydrazine can be synthesized from ammonia and hydrogen peroxide in the peroxide process, sometimes called Pechini Eugene Kuhlman process, the Atafina PC UK cycle, or ketazine process. The net reaction follows 2NH3 plus H2O2 H2N minus NH2 plus 2H2O. In this route, the ketone and ammonia first condense to give the imine, which is oxidized by hydrogen peroxide to the oxaziridine, a three membered ring containing carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. Next, the oxaziridine gives the hydrazone by treatment with ammonia, which process creates the nitrogen nitrogen single bond. This hydrazone condenses with one more equivalent of ketone. The resulting azine is hydrolyzed to give hydrazine and regenerate the ketone, methyl ethyl ketone. Me et C equals NN equals C et Me plus 2H2O2 Me et C equals O plus N2H4. Unlike most other processes, this approach does not produce a salt as a byproduct. Chlorine based oxidations in the olin rashig process, chlorine-based oxidants oxidize ammonia without the presence of a ketone. In the peroxide process, hydrogen peroxide oxidizes ammonia in the presence of a ketone. Hydrazine is produced in the olin rashig process from sodium hypochlorite, the active ingredient in many bleaches, and ammonia, a process announced in 1907. This method relies on the reaction of chloramine with ammonia to create the nitrogen-nitrogen single bond as well as a hydrogen chloride byproduct. NH2Cl plus NH3H2N minus NH2 plus HCl related to the Rashig process, urea can be oxidized instead of ammonia. Again sodium hypochlorite serves as the oxidant. The net reaction is shown H2N 2C equals O plus NaOCl plus 2NaOHN 2H4 plus H2O plus sodium chloride plus sodium carbonate. The process generates significant byproducts and is mainly practiced in Asia. The bare ketazine process is the predecessor to the peroxide process. It employs sodium hypochlorite as oxidant instead of hydrogen peroxide. Like all hypochlorite based routes, this method produces an equivalent of salt for each equivalent of hydrazine. Applications Gas producers and propellants The majority use of hydrazine is as a precursor to blowing agents. 
Specific compounds include azodicarbonamide and azovisisobuteronitrile, which yield 100 to 200 mL of gas per gram of precursor. In a related application, sodium azide, the gas-forming agent in air bags, is produced from hydrazine by reaction with sodium nitrite. Hydrazine is also used as a propellant on board space vehicles, and to both reduce the concentration of dissolved oxygen in and controlled pH of water used in large industrial boilers. The F-16 fighter jet, NASA Space Shuttle, and U-2 spy plane use hydrazine to fuel their emergency power units. Precursor to pesticides and pharmaceuticals Hydrazine is a precursor to several pharmaceuticals and pesticides. Often these applications involve conversion of hydrazine to heterocyclic rings such as pyrazoles and pyridazines. Examples of commercialized bioactive hydrazine derivatives include cefazolin, rizotriptan, anastrozole, fluconazole, metazetler, metamitron, metrobuzin, paclobutrazole, diclobutrazole, propiconazole, hydrazine sulfate, diamide, triatomethan, and dibenzoyl hydrazine. Hydrazine compounds can be effective as active ingredients in admixture with or in combination with other agricultural chemicals such as insecticides, miticides, nematicides, fungicides, antiviral agents, attractants, herbicides or plant growth regulators. Reactivity Acid-base behavior Hydrazine forms a monohydrate that is more dense 1.032 grams per cc than the anhydrous material. Hydrazine has basic alkali chemical properties comparable to those of ammonia. It is difficult to diprotonate. N2H5 plus plus H2O N2H6 2 plus plus O minus KB equals 8.4 X10 minus 16 with the values. KB equals 1.3 x 10 minus 6 pKa 8.1 for ammonia KB 1.78 x 10 minus 5 Redox reactions the heat of combustion of hydrazine in oxygen air is 1.941 x 107 J per kilogram 8345 BTU per pound. Hydrazine is a convenient reductant because the byproducts are typically nitrogen gas and water. Thus, it is used as an antioxidant, an oxygen scavenger, and a corrosion inhibitor in water boilers and heating systems. It is also used to reduce metal salts and oxides to the pure metals in electroless nickel plating and plutonium extraction from nuclear reactor waste. Some color photographic processes also use a weak solution of hydrazine as a stabilizing wash, as it scavenges dye coupler and unreacted silver halides. Hydrazine is the most common and effective reducing agent used to convert graphene oxide GO, to reduced graphene oxide RGO, via hydrothermal treatment. Hydrazinium salts Hydrazine can be monoprotonated to form various solid salts of the hydrazinium cation N2H5+ by treatment with mineral acids. A common salt is hydrazinium sulfate N2H5 HSO4, also called hydrazine sulfate. Hydrazine sulfate was investigated as a treatment of cancer-induced cachexia, but proved ineffective. Double protonation gives the azanium ilazanium hydrazinium dication H3NNH32+, of which various salts are known. Organic chemistry Hydrazines are part of many organic syntheses, often those of practical significance in pharmaceuticals see applications section, as well as in textile dyes and in photography. Hydrazone formation Illustrative of the condensation of hydrazine with a simple carbonyl is its reaction with propanone to give the diisopropylidine hydrazine acetone -azine. The latter reacts further with hydrazine to yield the hydrazone, 2 CH3 2 CO plus N 2 H 4 2 H 2 O plus CH3 2 C equals N 2 CH3 2 C equals N 2 plus N 2 H 4 2 CH3 2 C equals N N H 2 The propanone azine is an intermediate in the Atafina PCUK process. 
direct alkylation of hydrazines with alkyl halides in the presence of base yields alkyl substituted hydrazines, but the reaction is typically inefficient due to poor control on level of substitution, same as in ordinary amines. The reduction of hydrazones to hydrazines present a clean way to produce 1,1-dialkylated hydrazines. In a related reaction, two cyanopyridines react with hydrazine to form amide hydrazides, which can be converted using 1,2-dictones into triazines. Wolf-Kishner reduction Hydrazine is used in the Wolf-Kishner reduction, a reaction that transforms the carbonyl group of a ketone into a methylene bridge, or an aldehyde into a methyl group, via a hydrazone intermediate. The production of the highly stable dinitrogen from the hydrazine derivative helps to drive the reaction. Heterocyclic chemistry being bifunctional, with two amines, hydrazine is a key building block for the preparation of many heterocyclic compounds via condensation with a range of difunctional electrophiles. With 2,4-pentanedione, it condenses to give the 3,5-dimethylpyrazole. In the Einhorn-Brunner reaction hydrazines react with imides to give triazoles. Sulfonation being a good nucleophile, N2H4 can attack sulfonyl halides and acyl halides. The tosyl hydrazine also forms hydrazones upon treatment with carbonyls. Deprotection of thalamides Hydrazine is used to cleave N-alkylated thalamide derivatives. This scission reaction allows thalamide anion to be used as amine precursor in the Gabriel synthesis. Biochemistry Hydrazine is the intermediate in the anaerobic oxidation of ammonia anamics process. It is produced by some yeasts and the open ocean bacterium anamics, Brocadia anamoxidans. The false morel produces the poison gyrometrin which is an organic derivative of hydrazine that is converted to monomethylhydrazine by metabolic processes. Even the most popular edible. Button. Mushroom agaricus bisporus produces organic hydrazine derivatives, including agaritine, a hydrazine derivative of an amino acid, and gyrometrin. Hazards Hydrazine is highly toxic and dangerously unstable in the anhydrous form. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, Symptoms of acute, short-term, exposure to high levels of hydrazine may include irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat, dizziness, headache, nausea, pulmonary edema, seizures, coma in humans. Acute exposure can also damage the liver, kidneys, and central nervous system. The liquid is corrosive and may produce dermatitis from skin contact in humans and animals. Effects to the lungs, liver, spleen, and thyroid have been reported in animals chronically exposed to hydrazine via inhalation. Increased incidences of lung, nasal cavity, and liver tumors have been observed in rodents exposed to hydrazine. Few cases of pure hydrazine exposure have been reported in the medical literature. The usual antidote is vitamin B6 or the related pyridoxine. Limit tests for hydrazine in pharmaceuticals suggest that it should be in the low ppm range. At least one human is known to have died after six months of sublethal exposure to hydrazine hydrate. The U.S. National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has prepared a skin notation profile evaluating and summarizing the literature regarding the hazard potential of hydrazine, and has developed criteria for a recommended standard for occupational exposure. History The name, hydrazine was coined by Emil Fischer in 1875, he was trying to produce organic compounds that consisted of mono-substituted hydrazine. By 1887, Theodor Curtius had produced hydrazine sulfate by treating organic diazides with dilute sulfuric acid, however, he was unable to obtain pure hydrazine, despite repeated efforts. Pure anhydrous hydrazine was first prepared by the Dutch chemist Lobry de Bruyne in 1895. Small-scale, niche, and research Rocket fuel Hydrazine was first used as a component in rocket fuels during World War II. 
a 30% mix by weight with 57% methanol, named M. Stoff in the German Luftwaffe, and 13% water was called C. Stoff by the Germans. The mixture was used to power the Messerschmitt Mi 163B rocket powered fighter plane. Hydrazine was also used as a propellant with the German high test peroxide T Stoff oxidizer. Unmixed hydrazine was referred to as B Stoff by the Germans, a designation also used later for the ethanol water fuel for the V 2 missile. Hydrazine is used as a low power monopropellant for the maneuvering thrusters of spacecraft, and was used to power the Space Shuttle's auxiliary power units. APIS. In addition, monopropellant hydrazine fueled rocket engines are often used in terminal descent of spacecraft. Such engines were used on the Viking program landers in the 1970s as well as the Phoenix Lander and Curiosity rover, which landed on Mars in May 2008 and August 2012, respectively. In all hydrazine monopropellant engines, the hydrazine is passed by a catalyst such as iridium metal supported by high surface area alumina, aluminium oxide, which causes it to decompose into ammonia, nitrogen gas, and hydrogen gas according to the following reactions. Reactions 1 and 2 are extremely exothermic, the catalyst chamber can reach 800 degrees Celsius in a matter of milliseconds, and they produce large volumes of hot gas from a small volume of liquid, making hydrazine a fairly efficient thruster propellant with a vacuum-specific impulse of about 220 seconds. Reaction 3 is endothermic and so reduces the temperature of the products, but also produces a greater number of molecules. The catalyst structure affects the proportion of the NH3 that is dissociated in reaction 3. A higher temperature is desirable for rocket thrusters, while more molecules are desirable when the reactions are intended to produce greater quantities of gas. Other variants of hydrazine that are used as rocket fuel or monomethylhydrazine, CH3, NH, NH2, also known as MMH, and unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine, CH3, 2N, NH2, also known as UDMH. These derivatives are used in two-component rocket fuels, often together with dinitrogen tetroxide, and 2O4. These reactions are extremely exothermic, and the burning is also hypergolic, it starts burning without any external ignition. There are ongoing efforts in the aerospace industry to replace hydrazine and other highly toxic substances. Promising alternatives include hydroxylammonium nitrate, 2-dimethylaminoethylazide, DMAZ, and energetic ionic liquids. Fuel cells The Italian catalyst manufacturer Acta, chemical company, has proposed using hydrazine as an alternative to hydrogen in fuel cells. The chief benefit of using hydrazine is that it can produce over 200 mW per square centimeter more than a similar hydrogen cell without the need to use expensive platinum catalysts. As the fuel is liquid at room temperature, it can be handled and stored more easily than hydrogen. By storing the hydrazine in a tank full of a double-bonded carbon-oxygen carbonyl, the fuel reacts and forms a safe solid called hydrazone. By then flushing the tank with warm water, the liquid hydrazine hydrate is released. Hydrazine has a higher electromotive force of 1.56 volts compared to 1.23 volts for hydrogen. Hydrazine breaks down in the cell to form nitrogen and hydrogen which bonds with oxygen, releasing water. Hydrazine was used in fuel cells manufactured by Alice Chalmers Corp., including some that provided electric power in space satellites in the 1960s. Gun propellant A mixture of 63% hydrazine, 32% hydrazine nitrate and 5% water is a standard propellant for experimental bulk-loaded liquid propellant artillery. The propellant mixture above is one of the most predictable and stable, with a flat pressure profile during firing. Misfires are usually caused by inadequate ignition. The movement of the shell after a misignition causes a large bubble with a larger ignition surface area, and the greater rate of gas production causes very high pressure, sometimes including catastrophic tube failures, i.e. explosions. From January to June 1991, the U.S. Army Research Laboratory conducted a review of early bulk loaded liquid propellant gun programs for possible relevance to the electrothermal chemical propulsion program. See also Diazine Hydrazine sulfate List of stoffs Nitrous oxide fuel blend 
USA 193. References External links The Late Show with Rob. Tonight's special guest, Hydrazine PDF. Robert Matunas Hydrazine, Chemical Product Info, Properties, Production, Applications Hydrazine Toxicity CDC, NIOSH, Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards